Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Al. And it is the first of the month, which means it is time for a brand new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around to see the new printable, see the first set of cards I made, and find out how you can download it for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month is always an exciting time around here. It is sheet load of cards day. Now, if you don't know about sheet load of cards, it is a free printable I put out each month here on my channel for my subscribers. I give you a new sketch, the supply list and cutting guides to the make the most of your paper and yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between six and 12 cards, depending on the sketch, paper size and card size. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a look at the new printable showing you the first set of cards I made, and then at the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can download the PDF. Tomorrow, I will be back to show you how I made my first set, and I'll have some tips for you along the way, and my team of collaborators will be joining me in sharing their sets for the month. I have collaborators here on YouTube and over on Instagram. If you're not already subscribed to or following them, make sure to check out that description box below and go ahead and do that so you're all ready for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and take a look at the October 2023 sheet load of cards. Before we take a look at that, I did want to stop by with a special channel member shout out. I would like to say thank you and welcome to my newest paper trimmer level members, Jenny Binion and Jennifer Mazzarella. Thank you so much ladies for your support. Here's a look at the brand new sheet load of cards. We did have a lot of fun last month with the 5x7 size, but this month we're going back to the normal A2. Over here on the left is the sketch and supply list or page one of the printable where I give you the sketch, the supplies you'll need, and the dimensions for a single card in case you don't want to make a full sheet load. Now this month's printable does have some special instructions here so make sure if you're going to get started today before I share my process tomorrow that you take a look at that. Um, also, you might want to step it up a little bit. I have offered some alternative ideas here at the bottom. Just remember, sheet load is always a great jumping off point for you to make these cards your own. This month, with just two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper and some cardstock, of course, we're going to yield eight cards if you follow the supply list and the cutting guides. Speaking of the cutting guides, that is page two of the free printable, and I show you how to cut the pattern papers and each of the card stocks. Now this month, you'll notice on your count for card stocks, it's three and a half plus. That's just because one piece, you only need a half a sheet, and then for CS2, you'll need a scrap or a few different smaller scraps. Just whatever you have to get these pieces made. Also on page two is a special shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much for your continued support. You keep me creating here on YouTube and sheet load of cards free for all. And speaking of channel members, I have a few special ones to recognize. Congratulations and thank you to the following channel members who earned their two year membership badge in September. Thank you to Sherry Faulkner, be Creative with Ms. Judy B. Iona Sue Schlaupitz. Sandy Stanley. Tammy Dickerson. Mary Falconer. Diane Abraham. D. Deanne Horson Around with Crafts. Noreen Mulder, Janet Stevens, 
Nancy Byram, and Ashlyn Doust. Thank you so much, everyone, for your continued support. If you're ever interested in finding out more about the Perks of Channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. Now, before I show you my first set of cards for the month, let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I use to create them. In front of me are the main supplies that I use for my cards this month. In tomorrow's process video, I'll tell you about other products and tools I used, but I did just want to show you these quickly today. For my focal point, I am going to have it be a sentiment, and I chose Sending Happy Thoughts Your Way from Pretty Pink Posh's Thoughtful Greeting Stamp Set. And to help decorate that 2x2 two two square a little bit more, I brought in this stamp set from Not Too Shabby called Autumn Vibes, and I used this little sunflower stamp. I thought that went very well with the papers I chose. Speaking of going very well with the papers I chose, the inks I used are Tailored Expressions Pineapple and Sweet Basil. For my pattern papers, as I was going through my 12 by 12 sheets, I saw this and I was like, I have to use those. I loved the sunflowers paired with the green polka dot paper. These are from Cardabella's Fall Fun Line, and it is actually the front and the back of the same sheet. Now, one thing, if you do have double-sided paper and they match, you could just flip-flop those and just make half as many cards. Like if you didn't want eight total, you could make four from one sheet of paper. So that's always an idea too, if you don't quite need the full sheet load. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first set for the month. I hope you enjoyed that little look at my first set of cards using the October 2023 sheet load of cards printable. You might have noticed a couple things. First of all, on my sentiment piece, I did add those sunflower stamps in the corner. And on the inside, I was able to use up some of my scraps to add some decoration. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. As always, I do ask that you're subscribed to my channel before you click on the link to download or print the PDF. We do just go on the honor system here. You don't have to send me any proof. You'll find the link to this month's PDF down in the description box right above my PO address. You can either download it to your device and print it, or you can open it on screen and use it from there. If you do get crafty with this sheet load of cards, make sure to use the hashtags at the top when you share online so we can check out and see what you're making. And until tomorrow, when I'll be back with my process video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.